Hello, my name is Bob Smart and I'm the president of Primex Manufacturing. At Primex, we work very closely with our clients to design, manufacture, and sell custom-made products. One of our major lines is the telecommunication industry, where we make plastic boxes that would go on the outside or inside of your home and allow you to be able to talk on the phone, watch television, or surf the internet. Today, we're going to walk you right through the entire process from customer design right through to the manufacturing floor to end up at a manufacturing product. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Balin Lee. I'm an industrial designer at Primex Manufacturing. I work in a team of engineers and designers and we work with our customers to develop a, a solution to their problems that they have in terms of fiber optic communications to their customers. Um, we generally start off by exploring the problem uh, and reviewing it with the customer, trying to understand it as well as we can, as well as reviewing any standards or regulations that our product will have to adhere to. Uh, through, through this process, we develop uh, preliminary sketches and uh, concept sketches, as well as uh, early CAD models. We send these CAD models to our customers to see, get their feedback and understand what they think. Through that, we can refine the concept further, um, adjust the CAD model where it needs to and produce uh, a prototype through 3D printer. Um, 3D printing is something that we use uh, very often and it's a very valuable tool for us. Um, it helps to hold the physical product in your hand to understand how it's actually going to perform. Um, once the customer has used this uh, 3D printed product, we can uh, make any changes to the CAD model and from there we move on to production. Hi, my name is Jan Scheer and uh, I'm the tool room supervisor works at uh, Primex Manufacturing. Almost every product in our daily life is made by some kind of tools or modes such as cell phone, cars, planes, computer and TVs. At Primex, we build molds for telecommunication, construction and shelving, shelving products. These molds normally weigh between a few hundred pounds to five to six tons. That is equivalent to an elephant's weight. We use an overhead crane and lifting cart to move them around. As you saw earlier, our engineering team designed the parts and molds. We review with the engineering engineers all of the details such as how to inject the plastic, either through cold runner or the hot runner, how to cool down the part in the mold, what capacity of machine will be used, how to eject the part from the mold before starting the machine. So, what is the process of mold making? Actually, we design the part uh, and the shape and profile needed to cut on steel on the computer first, using special software such as SolidWorks and Mastercam. Using this software, we can preview how, to how the steel will be formed before cutting it. Once everything seems okay, we set up the blank block of steel and machine it. Our CNC machine, which is called computerized numerical control machine, automatically cut the shape with program. Once we finish machining, we can check all the measurement with precision tools such as micrometers and digital calipers. After inspecting the machine parts, we will machine other parts. We build the mold within 1000 parts of an inch or less, which is almost half the thickness of a human hair. After machining our component designed for the mold, we assemble the parts and make the component fit properly. Molds are just Lego. Many components need to fit perfectly to build one mold. This is the journey of the mold making. Hi, I'm Mark Campbell and I work with the Inventory and Order Fulfillment Department. Our role is to ensure that customers receive the products they require at the promised times in the appropriate locations. This can mean ordering steel for the mold makers as specified by our engineers, following up with plastic resin, box, or component suppliers to ensure the factory can run the products required by our customers, ensuring the materials required for production are available when required, coordinating the distribution and storage needs of our finished products to best suit our customers' requirements. The resins come from our suppliers in pellet form. These pellets can be specially formulated for our customers' requirements with properties such as strength, flexibility, color, flame retardants, UV stability, etc. We can also buy commodity resins and blend in our own additives. 
This is usually done with equipment at the molding machines. Currently we have over 400 unique purchased stock items such as the plastic resins, hardware and telecommunications components. In addition to those items, we have over 300 sub-assemblies in our production facility warehouse. Some of the challenges faced are different lead times or required batch quantities from suppliers that don't align with our production requirements. These challenges require decisions regarding alternate sourcing, warehousing, transportation, and possibly consultations with our customers. All of the factory's efforts are to ensure that the over 800 finished products in our distribution warehouse are the products our customers require. Coordinating the purchasing, production scheduling, warehousing, and distribution of all of these items is only possible with a good enterprise resource planning system and smart people using the software. All of these activities are driven by the expectations of our customers to provide our products first time, on time, every time. First of all, safety. Now we are ready to talk. My name is Jaime Sabendano, and I'm the Senior Manager of Operations at Primex Manufacturing. We are a team of 70 employees on the production floor who work three shifts, 24 hours a day, Monday to Friday, and process about 1,400 tons of plastics per year. But how do we transform this into this or this? We do it through injection molding. We receive the plastics in pellets. Some plastics need to be dried. This one is ABS and needs to be dried for four hours at 165 Fahrenheit. Material is conveyed to the injection molding hopper and then into the barrel. Inside of the barrel, there is a screw that will melt the plastic through heat and mechanical forces. Okay. Now the plastic is at about 400 Fahrenheit and it is liquid, so we can inject it into the mold, which is close at more than 800 tons of pressure. We cool down the mold with cold water and the plastic solidifies, taking the shape of the mold. We eject the part from the mold and the robot takes the part out of the machine. The operators inspect the part clean it up, or remove any excess of plastic, pack and label. This particular telecommunication enclosure is made of three different molds, frame, lead and base, so it can look like this at the end. Hi, my name is Angel Wong. I am the Quality Assurance Manager of Primax Manufacturing. I ensure all products meet our standards. For example, this is the P3000 Telecom Enclosure Base that you just saw being produced. We follow a control pan to make the parts. A control pan is like a recipe for food. It covers the materials needed to make the parts and how to make them. Before manufacturing, we check that all of the ingredients like the plastic and dye meet our requirements. Then the setup technician follows the setting instructions and mold the packs. Afterwards, quality assurance checks the functionality, color, dimensions, and weight to ensure that each pack is of the appropriate quality. This is a special photometer. We use it to check the color. Here is our target. Is it too dark or too light? Is it too yellow or too blue? Is it too green or too red? 
This machine will give us an answer. Microwave is a measuring machine. We use it to measure the details of the parts. We also check the part weight. All of these steps are to make sure we send quality parts to our customers. I hope today that we've been able to show you that manufacturing is more than just an assembly line process. It takes a very big group of highly skilled people from engineers to sales and marketing staff right down to the very important production floor itself. In fact, man manufacturing is a highly integrated process from start to finish. On behalf of Primex, I'd like to thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it.